Welcome to the Scientific Audiophile, and today we are going to show you a product that most audio objectivists would tell you is utter garbage and useless, yet we are going to prove without a doubt that not only is it not useless, it will literally open up your soundstage and make your entire stereo system almost like a live performance. You may have seen products like this, room treatment crystals. They are a complete joke. They do not work in any way at all. I have literally listened to multiple types of listening crystals into my room and have never heard any difference at all. Resonance control is also one that's been a big uh, push in the high-end audio, and it's usually complete garbage. Unless you have a turntable that is literally moving left and right and you need to control it somehow from constantly dealing with vibrations because of people dancing, resonance control is pretty useless. Most turntables are damped correctly and also can be put into a more rigid structure to not cause any issues. So it came to quite a surprise when I found something a little bit different. Mailed to me from the company Stratospheric Audio Systems, they sent me their amazing resonance diffuser. It looks like a simple hockey puck, but they do something so different that they actually sent it to me in two parts. This is the complete unit. The two parts are your standard heavyweight diffuser. Now, by itself, this doesn't really do a lot. The magic happens in the high frequency resonator. Notice something very amazing here. It's hollow. It's hollow because it's been designed to the frequency of 14,000 kilohertz. So what happens is when you take the product together, you put this on top of some furniture in your room and the 14,000 hertz frequency, which is one of the most difficult areas to tame in your high-end audio system, is actually sucked into the frequency resonator and diffuses it just enough so the sound is as crystal clear as a live recording. Now you may know from watching my previous videos that I am not a fan of digital audio. It does not compare in the slightest to vinyl. However, after using this device, I can tell you digital audio can get close to vinyl's quality just by using this, about six of them, around my room. I put one on top of my speakers just like this. A few others went around the room as such. The first thing I did of course was start the great Diane Bish and on this particular soundtrack, digitally it sounds very digital. It just doesn't sound like a live performance to me. So. I put these amazing resonators around the room and listened. It was not just great. I had to prove it wasn't psychoacoustic. I had to do a blind test. I had to prove to myself that the music you're hearing right now was actually not live. So I live alone and I don't have someone who can actually just move these things around for me. Plus, I like to listen for a very long period of time before making any kind of judgment. So what I did to do a valid blind test was I had my maid who comes in once a week, but I don't actually know what day she comes in. I just know she comes in once a week between Monday to Wednesday. And I told her to not tell me if you come in or not. Just do your normal cleaning and then take away or put back these resonators where you already see them. And by take away, I meant to hide them somewhere where I wouldn't see them. So I wouldn't know they weren't being used. And I would come into the room after working all day and actually not look for the resonators. I would not look on top of the speakers to see if they were there. I would just start listening to Diane Bish and what I found out was that not knowing if the resonators were in the room or not, I could hear clearly that the 14 kilohertz was being very well taken care of and 
the entire sound spectrum was more of a live performance than I'd ever expected. The leading edge transients, the focus of the music, really proved to me that I was listening to something as close to live as I was going to get, and all because of these resonators. So I told the company, you're not getting these back. Send new ones to other reviewers because these, send me the bill, are mine. If you want to get these amazing products, they are only $999 for two. So I only spent $3,000 for six of them. And they gave me a discount. I have to make that clear here. I did get a 10% discount. So um, I'm going to get a better price than you did. So that is something you should be aware of. I don't want to find, you know, have someone find out later that you got a discount and that's why you gave them a good review. That's not the case at all. I love them. I was going to pay the full $6,000, but they gave me a 10% discount. So for only $5,400, I did get this amazing product, but I'm telling you they are worth twice their price. So if they were $10,000, I would have paid that. That is how amazing they are. Thank you so much for listening and please subscribe. There are many more great audiophile products to be reviewed. Have a great day.